All right, guys, welcome back. We got done with the car yesterday, and today we got some electric fence to do. We'll get ready to set up. We're going to set some up. Don't have all the pieces, but I'm going to try using this poly wire. Let me show you what we got here. All right, we got some of this poly wire. It's a rope, and it has electric wire inside. I don't know if you can see a little silver. I figure it'd be good for the goats. They can just kind of see it, and when they get shocked by it, then they'll know. This, I just got 3,366 feet. I'm going to try these lock jaws. I thought the bags were 50 when I ordered it, but they're actually only 25. So I don't have enough of those either. And of course, we got these for a wooden post. Which the neat thing is, I found on Amazon, I ordered this box of them. It came with a tool. It goes in your drill. You just stick these inside there, and then you can just drill it right into the post. That's pretty cool, because I've put hundreds and hundreds of those in by hand. Push it in, keep turning it, put the screwdriver in there, turn it. So we'll see how that works. So we got our drill. We got our backup battery, because I'm going to plug in the GoPro, because it dies fast. We got a couple cutters to trim you know, any little bushes in the way, and then we got regular cutters. I've run... You know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands and thousands of feet of uh, eight gauge high tensile electric wire. You get ratchet on one end, spring on the other. But I've never run any of the poly stuff, so I'd like to try it and see how it works. It's a lot more manageable because, you know, 3,000 some feet of eight gauge is like 100, 100 pounds, and this only weighs hardly anything. It should have stainless steel braided, but you never know what you get. So let's load up the old tractor wagon and we'll roll out to the field and we'll get started. We'll start the easy end. I have underground cable coming where we're going to have to dig up under the fence and go to the other side where we can continue the wire. We have to, not the fence, the gate. We're going to have to do that on one side. So that probably won't happen today because I don't have the wire yet. Alright, let's get to the field. On the way out to the pasture, and it's over here, we got a grapevine I planted last year. And it's doing pretty good. It's actually pulling that over. So that's the next project. After the goats come, we're going to build ourselves a little grapevine trellis. And I got another one planted right over here. And it's starting to get leaves on it too. So that's pretty neat. I think one's Concord, and I, I don't remember what that was. We'll find out when we get grapes on it. So... I think the first one we'll start is right here on the wooden post. We'll put a couple eyelets in. I don't know if I just go on three strands or four. And then we'll go on up to the corner and on over to that gate. And that's where we're going to have to dig under and over to run an underground wire. And it'll go all the way around to this side. So we'll be alright with that. Uh, the gates, I'm going to have to get some hardware cloth or something and get metal zip ties and, and put it on there so they can't squeeze through it. So let's get over here. Get the drill set up and see how it works. So the way I did run this is the wire is actually on the outside of the pen. So we're gonna run electric out here. And we're gonna put it into the post, into the post. The other end, I'll t you can just tie this stuff in a knot. So over there, I'll tie it and leave like a pigtail off the end where we can splice into our electric. But the way electric fence works is the ground is your neutral the wire the there's ground stakes you put in the ground comes off the charger into the ground that's your neutral and your hot is on your fence and the way the circuit works is when someone's standing on the ground and touches the wire you complete the circuit like a switch and you get zapped if you could float in the air and touch the fence you wouldn't get zapped because you need to be able to touch both at the same time that's how it works pretty simple so you just make sure the two don't touch. You make sure, I mean, if it touches the wooden post, it's it, it's gonna not be real good, but it's not gonna be bad. Like if it hits a metal post, then it's just gonna ground it right out. You'll hear it clicking. As it works, like this whole field is kind of energized. So the drier the field gets, the less the fence will work. If it's wetter, it'll work better. So. But right now you can see it's pretty green, so it's going to work pretty good. And it's not a big area. It's probably, I don't know, an acre or two. 
So the lock jaws, like I said, are going to clip on the post and the wire is just going to click right into it. So we're going to run one towards the bottom, I believe. Probably the first three rows. I'm trying to keep the goats. I have to go see how big they are. They're supposed to be a good size, a Nubian something, a Montenegrin Nubian. So I get a decent size. But the first three is probably good enough. And maybe one at the top. I don't think they're going to jump that high. And once they get shocked, they're going to stay away from the fence. But it's a learning, it's a learning curve. Everybody you talk to is different with goats. They say it's trying to keep water in, and some people say it's easy. So we'll find out. Set it down. We'll get the drill hooked up, and we'll see how it works. A little bit of grass won't mess with the fence much. I'm going to hit it with a weed eater later, which uh, the poly... You probably don't want to hit with a weed eater because it may mess it up. I would like to leave the bottom good where the goats could eat it, but I don't want them to climb under. I think it was only like 29 bucks for this hole. There's a hundred, a hundred of these and this tool. This tool is plastic, so eventually it's not gonna last. But I'm just gonna eyeball it in between ground and the wire. Maybe go up just a little bit. Not as easy. I guess you pre-drilled a hole, which I did not. All right, that's not too bad. Now sometimes, I don't know how the poly wire is, but sometimes if you use the heavier wire, you'll want to put one with the gap facing up and one with the gap facing down, spaced. And I put it over here, over here. You click it in and go up and under. It just keeps the wire from popping out and going wherever. But this, this one I'm just gonna tie the wire to, actually we're gonna start out at the other end. We're gonna tie the wire to it and leave a piece sticking out. And I can splice it into the other cable. And we'll just go continuous wire up, back. Heck, we can put all these in right now. We'll go in the center here. That's our one post. I really don't know how many wooden posts I got. Let's see. One, two, three, four. We got 16 wooden posts in this pasture. Which is 100 in there, so maybe we get enough. Sprayed all this stuff. It's, it's dead. Right. About what we're gonna do with that. Let's get the lock gels, see how they work on these. Oh, that's pretty neat. And the wire just goes down and clicks around into that little groove. 
you can run wire all the way around this post if you have to. They seem pretty neat. Let's try that again. I always want to kind of put it on your little tit, over your tit there to... You just kind of... It's got little clicks if you want to stand it off a little bit. Or go all the way in. Well, there it is. Now one thing you're going to run into the electric fence is a bird will sit on top of this post and it'll shit down your wire. Oh. It'll shit down your wire and it'll land on top of this. Eventually it'll build up and it'll start arcing. So if you run into problems you can't figure out what it is, just check your little connectors and make sure there ain't no bird crap sitting on them. Which I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of these on real quick because they're actually way easier. One left. That took 24 of them. Just this one run. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six posts. That one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. So we won't, we won't have enough. We're gonna need to buy another. Need to buy another four bags probably. And uh, some of these posts, like them posts, the first few posts were pretty thick. It took a good bit of push, and then some of those is kind of clipped on in. So. You spent all his money on posts. Alright, so you see how we got those in. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all my screw in all my insulators and click on what I got for this L shape. And then uh, we'll run the wire on this side. And then also give us an idea how much wire we need. I would like to run two more strands just to have well, I got one, two, three, four. Maybe six strands of electric, six strands of barbed wire. I think it's a little crazy. I think the first four should definitely be more than enough, hopefully. I guess we'll find out. But I'll catch you back in a little bit when we get ready to run the wire. Alright, uh, this is how I'm going to handle my corners. The wire's going to come from there. And clip on here. Go straight across onto here. And if you see straight across, it'll stay off of that post. And then it's going to go to that post. This corner's not real good straight. That's because it's going downhill, downhill, uphill, up over. And uh, in the future, we're gonna come off this corner and come out, we're gonna go all the way down. There's a post way down there. Fence gonna run all along down there. And we're gonna fence off this upper field for some cows. And it'll probably be cross fence too, so it's actually be two pastures in there where I can move them back and forth. So, for now, I mean, insulators don't look too bad. Nice and you can see where they're at. I got there. I didn't make it all the way to the end though. I got two more posts to go and I need to order some more. It's pretty hot out here already. It's about 80 something. And then, got a breeze though. I'm gonna put the rest of the other insulators on there and then down at the end where the gate's gonna be. And then we'll run some wire. We'll see how it all works with the mock dolls. They fit a tad loose on some of these posts. I uh, bought the T-Post from the same place, but maybe they get them from a different place, so they're just a hair different. 330 seconds, something like that. They fit, though. And this ain't a high tensile strength. It's not, I'm not putting ratchets or nothing, so I'm just going to tie it, pull it, just kind of pull kind of hard, 
walk around click it on all these loop it around come back it's all gonna be one continuous wire I'm gonna try so I don't have to make a bunch of jumpers because then that'll be a pain because the poly wire it looks like you can take get to the end you can take a lighter burn off the poly part and the wires will be there and you can use the wires to splice or if you can pick them apart we'll see all right here's the wire I'm just gonna leave a little bit I'm gonna tie it you don't wanna I'm gonna tie it around here it's a knot since later has a couple little uh, I don't know what you call them like little ridges right here where I can tie into and see I got a pigtail so what we'll do is we'll run our wire underground we'll come up and we'll staple it and come off and then we can tie into it and then the wire will go underneath hopefully ain't too hard because there's some gravel here it only has to be in the ground just a little bit and then we come out the other side of the gate and then we continue wire all the way around to the other side <sighs> but as you can see it's hard to show it but there's uh if you can see the little silver that's electric in it it's a rope and i got it because you know it stands out so the wife or anybody doesn't get zapped on it and i should have brought something to wheel this out with well, we're just gonna pull it along i guess we could stop and put it let's see how it works in here it's supposed to just supposed to just pop i just pop right in and then when you pull it along it's gonna it's gonna catch itself now i do add some grass it's kind of annoying i should have weeded it first but i'm not exactly sure how good these will stay as long as it's got some tension on it it looks like it ain't gonna come out we'll just pull this out here's this i might just do a loop on it And we'll see if we can get around our corner here. Here. If it'll work right. Sorry for all the shakiness. I don't have a cameraman. We got the loop there. We're away from the barbed wire. We can get in here. I'm just going to loop it around that. Come around here. Pop it in. Yeah. And we got a good... Well, inch, inch and a half away. If I have to, I can put another insulator to kick it out, but should be good. I don't think it's gonna arc that far. Unless uh, like a piece of metal or something gets in there. Wet grass might do it a little bit, but should be all right. I'm actually gonna wrap that one around several times. And we're gonna go back. See, we're off the, we're off the other wire. This wire is pretty visible. So hopefully people don't go, hey, what's this yellow thing? <laughs> I'll find out real quick. And that's on in there. It says this works with bob wire, poly wire, poly rope. I guess this regular, you know, the regular wire. I don't think you want to put a super lot of pressure on it, but like I said, this stuff ain't gonna have much. Let's see here. Kind of pop it around in there. So my posts are a bit of an angle, and if you ever drove any, you know when you go down and hit a rock and it pivots. You're not really going to adjust it much. But yep, there she is. I need to get rid of that little clump of grass. I really hate to spray stuff where animals are going to be. I sprayed a little bit, but it's just a necessary evil, I guess. All right, let's run this down all the way to the other end, down there. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. We're probably going to go up there as we come down a hill and we're going to wrap it around that middle wood post and then run it through a couple of these clips and pull it on through. What we're going to do here down at the end, I'm just going to wrap it through and then around up to the next one and then all the way up. Same thing around, come all the way back, up to the next one, all the way up, all the way back and we'll have our four strands ran. 
it's kicked off the fence a little bit. So the goats can technically eat along this side under the fence a little bit. Well, we'll probably just keep it sprayed and hopefully they don't get sick or nothing. But that should be a good little spot for, right now it's just four goats, three males, one female. And uh, future project, we get some dirt and fill in these little holes, get this nice and flattened out. We're gonna build a square, a little white picket fence around here for the wife, put a bench, maybe a light or something so she can hang out and read. But that's just my short little wire project. I wanted to take you guys along, show you them clips, the poly wire. You see how I'm running it? There's no, I guess there's a wrong way, but there's no like right, right way. Unless there's some kind of code, but this is my place, so I'm gonna do what I want. And we'll see how it works. I'll update you guys once we get the chargers coming. It'll come out here on this corner. Oh, we got this crazy thing is. Charger will go here, cause no trees, lots of sunlight. We'll put it here. We'll run our ground rods. I'm not sure which way, that way or that way. We need about three, two, three. Based out about three, four foot apart. More ground rods, better connection, better shock. Because eventually we can hook the charger into all. Oh, I don't know if it'll do that much. Probably won't do that much. Probably have to get another one. That's just a short little project. It's part one. As I get more pieces, we'll go together. I thought I had a lot more <laughs> lock jaws. I thought there was 50 in a bag, and apparently it's 25. So, all right. It's getting hot. I want to get some of this water run. I'll catch you guys later. Like and subscribe. Be safe. All right, guys, here we are. We come up, over, come back, up, over, come back. Put one there just in case it doesn't hit the ratchet. Got the four there. Put a wrap on all of them as I went up. Just keep the wind or anything from knocking them out. Make sure everything is clipped in right. There we go. It's hard to do it when it's so dang hot out. Alright, we're all clipped in right. I'm gonna do this before <laughs> you turn the charger on. Alright, here's the interesting part. I left these out a bit because this post turns and goes weird. As you can see, we're out a bit. Come across. Got good space in between the wire. May not have had to do this, but like I said, I got a hundred of them for like 20 bucks, so 29 dollars. So we're all out across all the wire. Got a corner wrapped. Came across, left them all stick out a little bit. Normally about these, sometimes when we drill them in, they'll start spinning on the thing. You can't pull them out. They're in there tight, but they're just not tight enough to spin it. Go along. I notice I left it out in a few spots. We'll spray this grass when I get some more weed stuff. And then I just tied it off here at the end. Real pretty good. Bunch of knots. That's where it loops around, loops around, and here's where we're gonna run our, gr our ground. Got a direct burial. I might bring it up to here, just be off the ground a bit, instead of down here. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that works. As we're gonna have to trench a little line under here and go to the next side. That's the uh, lock draws I got on there. So I need about three bags, three to four bags to finish the place. And I probably have enough of these. And it looks like I may have enough wire. There's a good bit still on the roll, but this stuff's a tractor supply, so if I do run out, then if this is loose, you can just take it and pop another turn on it. Give yourself a little more tension. Like this one probably needs some tension. Oh, uh, a lot of... Uh, no, I'll have to do it when I got two hands. It's hard to do it right now with one hand. So, there we are. And you can see the yellow strands. We'll probably have to get a, a tag and hang over at the other end. It says electric because there is a little kid over there. He's gonna touch it anyway, but 
It's covering my butt with a little sign that says electric. There we are. Not bad for about an hour. <laughs>